Greetings, scholars. I am Ms. Malacky, the second grade ELA and humanities teacher at Fortune School. I hope you finished majority of your assignments already as we are now finishing up our packet and getting ready to submit it to our teachers this Friday. Happy Thursday, scholars. Let's go ahead and scroll down what we need to do to complete our Thursday tasks. Remember to have this page completed, this writing prompt completed, making sure you have all this completed, the literature text off page annotations. This is optional, but again, I would like you to try and answer as many of these questions as you can, and I hope you did on Wednesday. Now, let's go ahead and dive into the text on what we need to do for Thursday. For Thursday, I would like you to pause the video and read the story one last time so it's fresh in your brain and you can begin your short, your short writing response. So I would like you to scroll back up. and read the story Yi Shin one last time. Please pause the video and go. Welcome back scholars. Now let's go and figure out our central idea. So right here, we have this synthesis read and our rubric. This will tell you and break down what we expect you to do. Go ahead and pause the video and read the rubric and go. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and come up with CI. Our CI is the central idea. And you can put something as what you think the overall idea was. So we had our main idea where Yi Shin wanted a friend and wanted to be happy, but what was our central idea? I want you to think about it and go. Awesome job coming up with those responses, scholars. I'm gonna put some things easy as evil never wins because the mom was mean, or the stepmother was mean, the stepsister was mean, and you know what? They didn't get to live in the castle now, and they never get to go into that castle because the king saw how mean they were. So evil never wins, or you never get what you want by being mean. Those are all great central ideas. Go ahead and pause and fill in your central idea in your own words. Try to come up with your own idea and go. All right, welcome back scholars. Let's go ahead and look at the short response. For Thursday, we just have to answer this prompt. Compare and contrast Yi Shin to her mother and sisters. Use details from the text to support your answer. So now we need a compare and contrast. So compare and contrast means how is Yi Shin the same? And how are they, how is Yishin different? So I'm gonna do one column saying same and then different. And what you can do is how can you say they were the same? Everyone was a girl, right? Or you can say was female. That's one way that they were same. How are they different? Yi Shin was treated poorly compared to her sisters. And keep going. List out, give me bullet points. Remember, bullet points are right here if you need them. It's where it says bulleted listed. And go ahead and try to give me another one for same and another one for different. If you can try to come up with three each, that'd be great, but try to come up with two each, and then you're gonna type your response here. 
So annotating the prompt means we're brainstorming. I want you to put all your ideas, your thoughts, quick thoughts, notes in this box. Then in the gray box, you're going to actually write or type your response using your race response. So go ahead and let's see how we can start off our race response, which is restate the question, answer the question, cite your text, and then explain what you are cite citing. Okay, so compare and contrast Yi Shin to her mother and sisters. Use text details to support your answer. So you can say Yi Shin was the same as her mother and sisters by also being a female. So I already started off your R slash kind of like A response. Now I kind of want you to dig into the text and explain how they were different. You can even say the next one, Yi Shin was different from her mother and sister by, and then explain from the text. But I want you to attempt your short response by yourself. If you do need help writing out your response, please utilize your teacher's office hours they would love to see you and love to talk this out with you to make sure you're writing the best race response you can. I'll see you on Friday. Bye, scholars.